Using either Rad Studio or C++ Builder, there are several ways to create a new multi-device application. From the welcome page, you can select create a new multi-device application in C++. When you click on this, a dialog is presented. We'll take a closer look at this dialog in a moment. Alternatively, you can select file, new, multi-device application, C++ builder. You can also select file, new, other, select the C++ builder projects and multi-device application. This method allows you to browse all of the other available project types. Selecting any of these methods will bring you to this dialog. From here we have several options. A blank application provides an empty application template ready for you to begin building your user interface. There are several options which add some initial controls to a blank application, such as header footer, header footer with navigation, master detail, tabbed, and tabbed with navigation. Each of these add useful controls to the default template. The 3D application is a special case. With the 3D application, you can present data in three dimensions. We're going to select a blank application. The IDE has generated several files for us. For example, project1.cpp and project1.pch1.h are the main source code files for our application. They represent the entry point of the application. You needn't worry about editing these directly. The IDE will take care of that for you. It has also created unit one. Unit one is a composite of source code and design information for your main form. It contains three files, unit1.cpp, unit1.fmx and unit1.h. The cpp and h file contain the source code for your main form, while unit1.fmx contains all of the layout information for any controls you place on this form. The form designer is showing us the form in the design mode. At the bottom of this designer, there are three tabs. We can switch to view the .h file, the .cpp file, and the design file. You now have a blank application ready to begin building your user interface.